order business. See, if I just try and eyeball all these and like poke this Sharpie down in here and you know, just pin each one of these, that sounds like a good idea from the get go, but in all actuality, I'm not going to eyeball center very well, so I need to figure something else out here. And what I think I'm going to do is a good way to get a center to center dimension is actually measure from the outside of one hole to the inside of the next hole. And because you're going from this side to this side, um, you end up getting the center to center dimension, the distance between these two fixed points. Because uh, as you can see here, if you're trying to perfectly find the center of that hole, you're going to have a really hard time eyeballing it, and then especially eyeballing it repeatedly over and over as you go and work your way down this run. So what I'm going to do is you guys can't really see down inside of there as well as I can probably, but there's actually two holes. There's this top hole and there's a second hole down inside of there. And I'm burning one inch because if you notice this end of the tape actually moves just a little tiny bit. And this is a push-pull tape that's engineered. It's by design. That's not an accident. You do not need to smush these pins down or weld this together to keep it from moving. Because what's this designed to do is to compensate for the thickness of this blade right here. So when you butt it up, it pushes in and you get a true zero measurement. And then when you pull it, it pulls out just a hair, only the width of this blade, and then you have the same exact zero point on this side. So push-pull tape, do not fuck with that. You will screw yourself over you need to buy new tape. So because of this little wiggly end here, if you're trying to get an exact measurement, you don't have calipers like me, uh, you really just burn an inch and you use that hash line in there to line up as good as you can with whatever you're starting from. So one becomes zero, I'm burning an inch, and it reads four and one eighth on the tape, center to center. But since I'm burning an inch, we need to subtract that. So I've got three and one eighth is my distance, center to center of these holes. 